What's up guys? So I did a reading because when these killer cops commit murder against U.S. citizens and it's an act of war. It's basically an act of war. The U.S. government, the officials, the state government, the city governments are enacting against African Americans and otherwise other citizens as well of different races. It's basically an act of war against us and it's continuously happening. So something has to be done and I really wanted Spirit to give me some insight and clarity into what's going to happen to these killer cops. Um, two of their names is Officer Chauvin, however you say that, now I'm not even calling him, Killer Cop Chauvin and Killer Cop Tau, 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 T-O-U, T -O -U T H A O. However you say that in Chauvin and C-H-A-U-V-I-N. So, and the other two are not named in this article. So what I pulled out is, what came out on the bottom is the world on the first reading. And the world is a card of karma. What goes up, you know, cycles completing, what goes up must come down. It's similar to me to the Wheel of Fortune, but it's also, it's just different. And I'm receiving karma vibes from this world card from the Cosmic Tarot deck. Um, then what we have is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups represents the four officers. And then what's interesting is what came next, which is the Death card. And we know that the Death card is about a transition, but sometimes what I feel like in this deck, look at it, look at it, it's a skeleton. It's a cross, it's a grave. Um, the way that they did it, I feel like this represents actual death. So what I feel like this reading is saying that the four officers will pay with their life. Um, they'll pay with their life. And then we have the temperance card right after that. So because this reading could be um, articulated in many different ways, for example, with the world being on the bottom, the world could be about what's going on in the world right now. The four of cups could represent the four officers. The death and the temperance card could represent them committing murder. But intuitively, I feel like this reading is saying that they're going to receive karma for their actions. What goes up must have the must come down and the cycle will return to them and they're gonna pay with their life. So I said, what does this really mean, Spirit? What do you mean pay with their life? Um, and what came out was the facade and the impasse. Facade and reverse. So facade and upright, if you look at this, this is like a man, an older man and a son. It's like his childhood memories and he's reclaiming his life. And facade and reverse is him losing his, you know, I would, I would think that it's someone not reclaiming their life, someone losing their life. So again, it's reiterating that these officers will pay with their life. And then the empath is on the bottom, reiterating the temperance card. It's gonna be a delay. It's gonna be something, it's not gonna be expeditious. I feel like something is going to delay the process of them losing their life. But again, this is, an, this is not an ending. It's gonna be a part of the a part of the process is it won't be it won't be like all right they're dead tomorrow. It's gonna be a process. Um, and they may experience some sort of delay um, in injustice because of something. And anyway, so then I pull cards, some more cards to give me more clarification of this reading. What came out was the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Will of Fortune, the Prince of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. The Prince of Cups is, this could be the reason for the delay. The, and on the bottom we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is someone who looks at it objectively, weighs the issues, weighs the size, and makes a decision based on the facts. Based, it's like lawyer energy. Figuring out what to do based on the facts that are presented. So the Prince of Cups is somebody who's hard to read or hard to convict. Like this person is hard. It would be like a person that's so good at crime that it's hard to commit or hard to charge them with anything because they're so good at committing crimes and getting away with it. The Prince of Cups says it's very difficult to judge him. A young man with a scorpion on his arm is very difficult to judge him. So it's not, it's going to be difficult to judge the situation for the officials, whoever is looking at the case of these killer cops killing George, um, killing George. There's so many different names. I'm thinking uh, Ahmad Arbery. It's just I'm overwhelming how many names we have to remember. Again, they're, they've enacted war against us, and it's not even just, it's not police officers either as 
the KKK is these different organizations that are organizing against people because of their skin color. It's they've been active war, and it's obvious with all they, they're regaining momentum with their movement of calling the police on people for no reason, holding people hostage. We've been seeing it in the news. So it's not just the officers, the people who work for the government. They work for they have many different jobs and occupations. They have, you know, they're probably your neighbors too. So anyway, these it's, it's just worse when it's a government official where people feel like if they see a regular person killing someone, they may do something. But you see a government official killing someone, people are reluctant to do something because we've been trained and conditioned not to question the government so, because they have order. I mean, that's the whole government's job, to remain order, especially law enforcement. It's about order and control. So they have mind control over people where you see a law enforcement officer doing something you're less likely to fight back against it, but what do you do when law enforcement officers are the ones who enact war against you? That's when you riot, loot, fight back, it get worse, it, get, it can be real war, and it's less officers than it is to civilians, so they don't want that kind of war. That's why they're calling the National Guard. They don't have enough people to fight against the, all of the citizens in their states, like in the cities. Chicago has 12 million citizens. Do they really have enough resources to fight all of them? That's why they maintain mind control over its citizens. Anyway, back to what I was saying. George Floyd is his name. Say his name. George Floyd. George Floyd. So anyway, um, the Prince of Cups is someone who is hard to judge. So they're trying to, they'll go through a process of trying to figure out how, gather the facts and how they can prosecute them. Then we have Wheel of Fortune. So it may be a time period where they don't feel like they don't know how they're going to process the prosecutor, but something is going to change. Again, Wheel of Fortune is also the card of what goes up must come down. There's a cycle of change. Something changed. They get a lucky break. The thing about it is when they get this break, it's going to be two against two. So when I pulled these cards, I looked up the article because I wanted to remember the names. I wanted to say the names of the officers. So I'm like, let me get up and go get, you know, my other phone and look up the name so that I can say it on my video. And what I've noticed is the article is the same, is similar to what this reading is. So they're going to want to separate the two. It looks like two being separated or two of them aligning with each other and being against the other two. So what it said was, of only two of the, it says Chauvin had 18 complaints against him. Killer cop Chauvin, however you say his name, C-H-A-U-V-I-N. Um, then we have killer cop T-O-U-T-H-A-O, -O, Tao. He had six complaints against him. And the other two officers had no complaints filed against them. So what I feel like, two of the officers, potentially the two that have the most complaints against the complaints against them and the other two officers, they're gonna try to they're gonna either want to separate or they're gonna ally against with each other and against each other. So you're gonna have two officers band together and the other two officers band together and fight against each other. And so they, they're gonna figure out what to do with these two officers and what to do with these two officers. But then we have the four of pentacles here. That was these two. The two of swords and the two of swords. The two and the two. Then we have the four of pentacles. And it looks like and they may make a decision to do it together instead. So this could be about the case. This could be about um, trial. So instead of separating it, they may decide to do it together. But if you look at this, you see that versus sign in the middle? I've never seen that in the four of cups. So it still may be two against two, but somehow it's going to be handled all together. They're all going to be handled, but it may be two against two. Like you cannot, how can y'all see this? That's a versus sign right there. There's two up and there's two down. There's a versus sign here. So it could be two against two. And then we have the five of pentacles. Ultimately they lose. So I want... What is this Five of Pentacles? Who lose? Who's losing? What is this Five of Pentacles? 
Hulu this. And they ultimately will pay with their life. It's just the process is gonna happen. I feel like, okay. Let me see if I can get some answers from this um, Shackleism Oracle card deck to see what this Five of Pentacles represents. We know that the Five of Pentacles represent loss and misfortune. Um, and this deck in particular, it represents, sorry, hold on. It represents ruin, something being ruined, um, chaos. It something being ruined and worrying and stuff like that. So, but let's see what this is about. Hmm. Ooh, the truth may be revealed. Because soulmate card was on the bottom, so I decided to look at that first. And if you look at his hand, um, you'll see like a third eye. So the truth will be revealed. The truth will be revealed. Perfectionist came out with it. Mm. Trying to see what I can connect to based on this card. I feel like some sort of truth would be revealed um, and the end and ultimately they lose. Because mysticism is also like a third eye card too that came out. Um, so when whoever loses or when they lose this battle, some sort of truth is going to be, is going to come out. So it says, of the four invited, two are together and two are un unknown to each other. Interesting. So this also separates two and two. So, but anyway, regardless of what happens, they will pay with their life in one way, form of another. Two of them will be separated from the other two or against the other two. It's all it's going to be like these two officers against these two officers because they want to fight for their life. Um, and potentially at the end, some sort of truth will come out, potentially in trial when they start to lose. Um, I'm going to pull from this deck to see if there's anything else that come out. Is there anything else that we need to know about or that we should know that we don't know right now? Why did these... Why did this happen? Why did they kill George Floyd? So I need to do readings on each individual officer. Interesting. Two of Swords is on the bottom. The Two of Swords is... I'm feeling the same energy like energy of a stalemate like two different sides to the story so they don't all have the same stories with the two of swords here being on the bottom um, and then the nine of wands is right under there they don't all have the same reasons they don't the two of swords represents a balance of almost equal forces like all two parts. So it's like a balance of two equal forces. It's like these two officers on one end and two officers on the other end. Two killer cops wanted to do it for a reason. The other two killer cops may not have been a part of that reason, but they were a part of what happened because they were there. So it's two against two. And then we have the magician on the bottom, um, which is about authority, which is about power, willpower, and um, power. It's about power. So it was for power. But the power of not all of them 
maybe two of them were doing it for power and two of them had no idea why they were doing it. Yep. So that's what I think it's about. It's about, and if you look at this card, it has four stars. We have ah, the big one, the two on this side, and the one on this side. So the power goes to the killer, Chauvin, the killer cop, Chauvin. This is the one who wanted the power, Chauvin. Then we have the two on this side who were just used as a means to an end. This is Chauvin's ally on this side who was just a means to an end too, but a part of it. So it was done for power and for Chauvin's power and the other ones were used for it. So anyway, we'll see how this goes. And um, I'm gonna leave it at there. Thanks for listening. Let me know what you think. Peace.